The long nights are slowly closing in, the trees are shedding their leaves, and the temperature is certainly dropping, so there's no better time to get yourself wrapped up in a good read. This October, why not explore the world of the eerie, the unsettling or the flat-out scary to really get you in the mood for Halloween? In this article, we take a look at some of the best Halloween reads in the UK. From jaw-dropping slasher novels to educational books for kids, we've ranked the top 10 best paperbacks, ebooks and audiobooks on Amazon and eBay. With creepy works of classic fiction and even freakier true-life tales, we hope you've packed your silver cross and string of garlic. The first product on our list is The Book of Extraordinary Deaths, The True Accounts of Ill-Fated Lives Cecilia Ruiz. If you're looking for a book with a distinguished style and aesthetic, this offering from Cecilia Ruiz offers has it in abundance. The book is filled with gorgeous illustrations, all of which are narrated via Ruiz's playful and charming dark humor. The book introduces the reader to some of the most grotesque and freakish deaths of writers, thinkers, monarchs and nobodies from throughout history. From large piles of cloaks causing suffocations to hot air balloon duels, these stories are both bizarre and fascinating. The second product is Vegetables in Halloween Costumes' Jared Chapman. This adorable storybook teaches your young one about the ritual of dressing up at Halloween. Carrot is hosting a Halloween party, and all the vegetables are excited to dress up, except Carrot can't make up his mind about what to wear. A brilliant bedtime read, Chapman delivers lots of laughs as Carrot works his way through a range of spooky, scary and silly costumes. This book truly embraces the goofiness of the holiday and is certain to make both you and your little one smile. The next product is White is for Witching Helen Ayemi. This novel from Helen Ayemi has all the classic elements of Gothic literature, but with modern sensibilities. Told from four different perspectives, this is the story of a family that is reeling from misfortune in a mysterious house on the cliffs of Dover. It's an electrifying and wonderfully lyrical tale that inspires in its expressions of loss, love, myth, magic and mystery. As thought-provoking as it is surreal, Ayemi's mastery of the written word is certainly bewitching. The next product in our list is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark Alvin Schwartz. Terrifying hordes of children since the early 80s, this creepy collection of stories from Alvin Schwartz is a certified cult classic. This book is filled with eerie stories of dark revenge and skeletons with torn flesh, all brought to life by the equally unnerving illustrations of Stephen Gamble. If this doesn't get the reader in the mood for Halloween, frankly we don't know what will. If your little monster becomes a fan, then there are a few more books in the series they can read too. The next product in our list is I'm Looking Through You, Growing Up Haunted a Memoir Jennifer Finney Boylan. We've all watched movies or read fiction about haunted houses. But what if you grew up in one? For the author, whispers of human voices, creaking stairs and momentary images in the mirror were common occurrences in the aptly named Coffin House during the 1970s. It wasn't just the house that was haunted, as Jennifer Finney Boylan was growing into a body she didn't belong in, too. Along with her team of Ghostbusters, Boylan earnestly investigates what it is to be haunted. With her wit, humor and elegance, she helps us find peace with our ghosts, both real and imagined. The next product in our list is The Little Ghost Who Was a Quilt Real Mason. This is a wholesome and heartfelt story about a little ghost who believes he's just a bit too different to fit in. After all, everyone knows that if you're a ghost, you're supposed to be a sheet. Sheets are light and can soar and twirl, but that's not so easy if you're a quilt. Flying is difficult, it's hard to whirl around, and it's known to get a little hot. One Halloween, everything changes for the little ghost. Through a turn of events, he finally comes to terms with being the quilt he was born to be. The next product in our list is the Penguin Book of Witches Catherine Howe. If you've often caught yourself pondering the history of witches and witchcraft, the Penguin Book of Witches is a treasure trove of spooky satisfaction. From court documents at Salem in 1692 to a witch-hunting manual produced by King James himself, 
This book is an accumulation of historical accounts and legend. This horrifying tour through Europe and North America's dark history will no doubt disgust and delight readers in equal measures. The next product is 10 Gretchen McNeil. In a nod to Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None, this novel centers around best friends Meg and Minnie. They're supposed to be away for the weekend of a lifetime, looking forward to days of fun-filled luxury, boys and booze. But, little do they know, there's something sinister lurking. The literary equivalent of a teen slasher movie, Ten is a fun yet frightening novel that plays on classic character tropes, yet with ample new twists and turns to bring the genre into the 21st century. The next product is Dracula Bram Stoker. Not only did Bram Stoker conceive of one of the most famous characters of all time, but he also popularized an entire genre of literature. The fact that this book is still regarded as one of the greatest literary horrors over 120 years after its first publication should go some way to demonstrating its enduring appeal. The masterful plot probes into deeper topics of rationality, identity and desire which are as frightening now as they were when the book was first released. For new fans of the horror genre, there's no better place to start than here. The next product is The Year of the Witching Alexis Henderson. This novel follows Emmanuel Moore, who by no fault of her own is considered blasphemous from birth. After all, in the lands of Bethel, the prophet's word is the law. Like the other women, she tries to dedicate herself to a life of submission, devotion, and total conformity. However, a mishap leads her to into a forbidden wood, where she meets the spirits of four powerful witches. Bestowing Emmanuel the gift of her dead mother's diary, she begins to learn terrible truths of Bethel. With strong feminist overtones, this is a captivating novel with themes that are all too prevalent in today's world. Do you think this list makes sense? Leave a comment for us. You can find the product link in the description of the video. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel to keep up with the latest reviews.